Hi friends, nice having you all here today, my old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or you've been viewing but you've not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button. Also the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Friends, this is a very, very sad incident. The young beautiful lady you're seeing there, the core member, unfortunately, this lady is no longer alive here with us again. She's known as Chiwendu Eze. This lady was shot in Akwaibom State, Nigeria, and that is where she was currently serving before the unfortunate incident happened. After she was shot and with the injuries that she sustained, they rushed her to the hospital and when the treatment was ongoing, they decided it's better they take her to her own home city that's in Enugu State where her parents are so they can continue the treatment over there at the hospital. That is how they now took her down to Enugu State to continue with the treatment because she was responding as of the time they took her down to Enugu State. But unfortunately, due to the injuries she sustained, from this gunshot wound however they didn't say exactly where this gunshot hit this lady unfortunately on easter monday she just gave up the ghost is this not so sad imagine how her parents are feeling right now you sent your kid to school after all the stress she has gone through graduated and now going to serve this lady is no longer alive that is the pain of graduation not just for the parents also for her classmates because if you've graduated and you've gone to the stage of serving you would know that it is not easy at all you talk about all your studies in school talk about all the fees talk about every hurdle and stress you have gone through in school and for you to come out and smile and try to start helping yourself and empowering yourself, then death will now come and sweep you away. And especially when it's a death that is not natural, when it's a death that is caused by man. And the pain that the core members are having right now in a quiet bomb state is that they are saying the guy who even shot her has not been apprehended that they are not even questioning him neither is the coordinator doing anything about it well we don't know if that is true but that is the letter that was just released and let me just read out the letter that the head of core members had released regarding this unfortunate incident they said this it is awful to learn tonight that the core member who was shot in Oyo a few months ago has died. Oh no, a bomb killed her because she accepted the National Youth Service Corps clarion call. Since the incident, the state coordinator has not made any statement and the Nigerian police find it difficult to punish the perpetrator of this evil as he is an indigent. I am speaking to all core members serving in the state of Akwaibom to ask the state director general, state governor, state coordinator, and local government inspector to question the killer of Chiwendu. Forward until I'm all over the news with a logo of the National Youth Service Corps. This was the letter that was released. It's just so painful. Imagine that you've sent your daughter out there. You're excited that she is going to empower herself. Unknown to her parents that that will be the last they will ever hear from her. Chiwendu will be laid to rest on Saturday. That's this coming Saturday, April 23rd, 2022 at her father's compound in Omashi village, Umabi in Udi local government area of Enugu state. But as we speak right now, her friends and colleagues have taken to their social media to demand justice. One of the leaders of the National Youth Service Club, that's Hillary, wrote this. May your gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. May those that shot you 
not know peace all the days of their lives. I could remember how you paid extra school fees and other expenses just to serve your fatherland, not knowing it will be your end. I have cried because you are so determined to achieve greater heights, the reason you were working and also going to school, till we meet to part no more, as a Chimwendu Lovina. Please, my friends, share it till she gets justice. Hashtag justice for Wendy. It's so, so sad and a very painful incident that has happened. And you know where such death is painful is? The person who has caused the death is not even in police custody. And from all indication, what the leader of the core members are saying right now is that because the person who carried out this other horrible act on Chiwendu is an indigenous of Akwaibom state. And that is the reason why they are not doing anything about it. But the NYC coordinator has not said anything with regards to this incident. And that is why we all can conclude as to what is happening, whether they are investigating or whether they are still trying to get more information before they release anything to the national public. We still don't know, but it's unlike the National Youth Service Corps coordinators. Most times we find out that if anything happens to a core member, they don't hesitate. They release news or give information out there because this person is already out to serve their country. And so the person is not a hidden individual anymore. So whatever happens to that core member in the state where they are serving, the state coordinator usually releases information to the public, letting the public know what is happening or their progress or their investigation. But with regards to that of Chiwendo, nothing has been said. No news has even been released. In fact, a lot of people never knew what happened to Chiwendo until this news just came out today, which is very, very painful, especially to her own family members who are seeking for answers and they all want justice. For the death of Chiwendu. This lady wasn't sick. But the thing is, they didn't really say what led to the shooting of this lady. How or why did this young man gone her down? That is what they have not yet released. But friends, if there's an update regarding what led to this guy shooting Chiwendu, I will definitely keep you all updated. It's not a thing that anybody should hear and be happy about. Neither is it a news that the family member ever expected. They never thought that they would be burying their young beautiful daughter at this young age. All because she went to serve. Another painful death for parents is when they send their kids to go and serve. And they hear a news that this child or that young man or that young woman is no longer alive. You'll be like, has service become a place for core members to go there and die? Look at the other day, a core member who redeployed from Imo State back to Quara State, Ilori. On her way, that was how this lady died and that was the end of her own life. The other day again, four core members on their way to their local government areas where they were posted. Next thing was an accident and they all passed away. It's so sad when you hear these core members passing away like this. These are people that have gone through a lot of hurdles, a lot of stress. All right, look at that of Chingwendu. It's so painful to hear that she was even working at the same time going to school. It's not easy going to school, let alone you're working and you're in the university. I'm sure some people have gone through this and they will tell you that it is not an easy process. For you to combine both things at the same time, it takes the grace of God for them to finally succeed and graduate. And then after all the stress that this lady has put herself through, all because she really wanted to come out as a better person in life, but she never lived to reap the fruit of her labor, neither did her parents live to watch her grow to the woman that she planned to be in life it's so so sad we pray that the soul of chimwendu lovina is a rest in peace with the lord may almighty god console her parents her entire family members her fellow core members friends well wishers everyone that knew chimwendu may god console them all 
It's so sad that Chimendu has left the surface of the earth. We pray that they get the justice they seek. It's so painful. If you go to Facebook, that is what is all over the Facebook this morning. People are just paying tribute to her. Because nobody thought that at the end she was going to pass away. She started responding to treatment. But you know sometimes the severity of the pains from the wound or injury sustained. The person may not be able to hold on. They will just succumb to that pain. And that was what happened to this beautiful young lady. Once again, may the soul of Chiwendu rest in peace. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Nice having you all here today. Friends, before you leave, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.